Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers movie masterpiece series review from Takara and Hasbro. Thanks to the team at Robot Kingdom. Today we're looking at the MPM5 Barricade, the Decepticon. In the front we have Barricade in his bot and vehicle mode. Spinning it around we have him on the back there with his big swirly rotor blade weapon and we have a movable faceplate and of course this is an official licensed product from Ford. It's a very nice looking vehicle indeed. And here we have him out of his plastic prison and what a gorgeous alt mode. Now hands down in my opinion this is the best interpretation of a barricade in his vehicle mode. It just looks so nice. There's so much heft to it as well. Love that front grill got the police sign with the Decepticon insignia underneath to punish and enslave lovely emergency 911 response 643 and the saline on the back there really nice looking piece in my opinion, vehicle mode leaps and bounds better than what we got with Bumblebee. Everything holds together remarkably tight. Uh, it's a truly exceptional piece. And before I go into comparisons, here's the twirly whirly cutting weapon. Uh, we do actually have a nice display stand that it comes with as well, because if you want to display barricade in his vehicle mode, then we do have this weapon. Uh, it's a really huge piece and obviously these the wheels they're meant to be the wheels change out into these weapons uh, so the wheels are pretty much identical on both uh, i like the fact that they've uh, not actually done it as part and parcel we can actually get uh, correctly proportioned cutter blades as opposed to having to try and fold them all in and have them as part of the vehicle. Here he is with some other vehicles from various different lines to give you an idea of how he scales. Uh, the Alien Attack Prime at the back there looks remarkably good with him, as does the Human Alliance figure. We have Lambor there, uh, some pretty good scale. This is the Kuban Bao. Uh, it's Kuban Bao Wei Zhang, one of those. It's the oversized version with a little bit of die cast in there, which in my opinion is a pretty good scale. I think all of that works really nicely. Here we have them alongside MP10 and Dino or Farage from Alien Attack. Uh, definitely works more with the Human Alliance figures than he does with the likes of the Dark of the Moon Deluxes, for example. Now, unfortunately, I did sell my Human Alliance Barricade. One of my biggest regrets, actually, because that was a very nice figure but to give you an idea here he is alongside a human alliance figure that's a very good scale i actually think that the wei zhang oversized spike i think that works incredibly well also of course this is based on the 07 barricade as opposed to the more recent uh, release uh, so i think they've kept it pretty darn accurate in the vehicle mode so let's take a look at the robot mode now from a to b it's not the most complex of transformations but let's tackle it together anywho we undo these back panels all of this kind of comes away as standard uh, the doors also come out and the window panel comes up which in turn opens up this panel on the hood this piece here then lifts all of this section up. We have arms on the inside here. They just untap from the rear of the spoiler and those sections can come away and out to the side. And as you probably guessed, these here are going to form the legs. Coming down to the underside, you want to lift and extend these arms out to the side. Come down to the base. As you can see, we have these arms floating around here. This hand is going to come out. This entire piece here is on an up and down slider. You want to slide it down. And there's a tab just on the inside here. Pushing that down, this will come out. And with a firm click, locks into place. Grabbing this hand piece, move it around. 
the wrist is going to rotate and as we do so this is going to come in and lining the wheel up at three points and that's going to lock in and tab into place bring the thumb back and bring the fingers over forming the arm we can then bring this tab upwards rock this up and over this piece here is going to pull up and rotate down and around out of the way and then this tab here is going to fold upwards and push and just lock and tab in at that elbow bend and then bring this piece up and finally this piece down to the front come to the upper torso you want to bring it over and it's a lip just here as we bring this over that's going to lip over and through and lock into place we can then bring barricades head upwards come around to the backpack this is going to lift up move these light bars to either side these are going to come up and over the shoulders like so and then this torso is going to collapse down and as we come down there is a hole just in this gray piece where this will line up that's going to push and tab and lock into place rotate the shoulders so the lock is at the top here we can bring the side windows up to the top like so and bring this backpack in and then this piece here is going to come up and over and there's these tabs at the top here that's just going to push and tab in to place we then come around to the thighs you want to move them all the way up until it locks into place at the top and then move the thigh joint downwards this is going to form the front of the leg this piece is going to come up and as we bring it up it's going to rotate around it's going to slide and drop down completely into the calf and then this piece here is going to bend and curl around we can then bring these feet pads downwards rock them forwards and then lift that toe flip up and there we have him all transformed up now personally i'm going to have the weapon attached now to get him into that form you want to fully extend that arm outwards this piece here is going to rock back this tab here is going to open up this folds back inwards the thumb will fold in and the whole wrist will come untabbed rotate and by bringing this hinge piece down this entire piece will fold backwards so at the moment we have the arm flipped back like this with this section tabbed downwards uh, this is on the up and down and slider you want to slide it backwards whilst it's upwards and that's just going to come in and that's going to click into place over here and what we're left with is this here with these separate tabs here and a little slot on the inside bring in our weapon look at that that's just crazy <laughs> and it's as simple as just tabbing this piece here into the hole here and just making sure that those pieces go over that lip and then bringing this back up here and just pushing that joint back together and waiting for that audible click there we go there we have barricade with his big chunky weapon and here we have him fully transformed up into his robot mode with large cutting blade in hand quite literally <laughs> i like how he looks it's always a bit of a ifish character this cgi model wasn't overly amazing i personally prefer some of the uh, decepticons from the last night for example i think they looked kind of more menacing and less kind of mishmash at the 2007 line is what started it all off though so this is great when it comes to kind of resembling what barricade was uh, over <laughs> 11 years ago god that's 
That's crazy, but yes, it is barricade without a shadow of a doubt. It looks exceptionally good in comparison to some of the other barricade releases. Uh, the head sculpt especially kind of has that frenzy rumble look to it. Uh, all in all though, he holds together quite nicely. The transformation isn't overly involved. It's still enough there to get it to class as a masterpiece figure. Uh, but there's definitely nowhere near as complexing as some of the official movie line merchandise. I think Hasbro and Takara have kind of met in the middle of simplicity and aesthetics. And the outcome is a very good resemblance to a barricade without the fear of smashing a figure to pieces because you're getting frustrated with its transformation. I'm taking a closer look, that's a really nice head sculpt the head does look up and as mentioned on the back of the box we do have a movable mouth plate so we can go so in theory you can go yes Megatron or something along those lines uh, the big cutting disc does spin quite nicely uh, the normal arm uh, we have the hinged thumb and the hinged fingers. Uh, the head itself can look up incredibly well and down. You can go left and right. We can tilt side to side. Loads and loads of range there. There's a really nice ratchet joint on that shoulder. It can come out to the side again on a nice ratchet joint. Bit of flex on this the actual joint itself uh, but nothing that i'm worried about nothing should break there nice bend on the elbow there nice friction joints up and down I get that arm and it's all fixed into position so you can't really uh, twist and turn those hands but uh, i think that's acceptable uh, we do get a bit of rotation on the waist uh, it's somewhat hindered by uh, this backpack piece here. The legs can come all the way forwards and all the way to the back. Are these hip skirt pieces meant to come up or down? Uh, I think they come up to allow for more range on the legs, don't they? I think. Either way, really nice ratchet up in there. We get an upper thigh rotation. We get a double jointed bend on that knee. Nice detailing on the inside of that knee joint as well. That's always a very welcome sight. Uh, we get up and down on the feet. We get a pivot on the feet as well. And we don't unfortunately get any left and right rotation, uh, but that's not the end of the world. I mean, we get that upper knee rotation, so you can still get him in some really nice poses. Uh, personally, I've never had a barricade, which has been even remotely articulated. So this one definitely does tick all of the boxes and he does strike a very good pose and that's all i really want for my masterpiece figures i want the journey from a to b to be fairly enjoyable and stress-free and him or her to look good in both modes you height junkies out there he's around six and a half inches that's about 16 and a half centimeters so if anybody has the bayverse scale they should be able to compare him to the other bayverse figures and with cutting blade in tow, he weighs 260 grams. That's 9.17 ounces. And last but not least, here is a scale comparison in his robot mode, just to show you how he fares with some other movie style figures. Uh, personally, I still stand by my decision that Bumblebee is just too big. He isn't the correct Bay versus scale. I think he should be uh, about uh, a centimeter or so shorter. That is my personal opinion. Uh, obviously, we don't have a masterpiece style Megatron as of yet. Well, not one that transforms anyway. We do have the Forever Toys version, but that's extremely expensive uh, for what is just a kit style figure, much like the Iron Warriors Ratchet there. People keep saying it's Tron Warriors. It's Iron Warriors. It's IW01. Uh, and there is a bottom of the eye. It does look like a T, but it's an eye. Just look at the box. <laughs> uh, but yes, this is all about barricade 
personally. I like him. It's nice to get a Decepticon in the MPM line. Uh, a new mold, that is, because we did have Starscream. Uh, was it MPM2, I think, wasn't it? Which is the repaint of the Hunt for the Decepticon version. Uh, but it's nice to get a decent barricade. I like um, the journey from A to B. It wasn't overly complex. Things tabbed in where they should. And all in all, he's a good looking figure. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Where do you think this MPM line should go next? Now, we already know we're getting Ironhide. Where should we go from there? Personally, I am throwing all my cards in and saying we definitely need a new version of Megatron. I would like to see a new Jazz, uh, albeit he doesn't last very long. <laughs> and it's going to be... Obviously, the 2007 seems to be the Bayverse that they're tackling at the moment. Uh, but yes, I'd definitely like to see some other figures, maybe a transforming version of Ratchet done to kind of this kit style. Uh, that I would definitely like to see. We've also got that second movie line running, not the masterpiece line, but kind of the, the reinvention of the movie figures uh, with the bumblebee the ratchet with like those translucent legs so uh, be interesting to see how their bumblebee uh, being more of a deluxe size scales up against this barricade personally i think that may work slightly better but i uh, haven't got hold of those in the uk yet but hopefully i'll be able to get a hold of some of them but for now there are reviewers doing reviews on them like the Optimus pure bot matrix etc etc so make sure you check those out uh, until next time from myself and Barricade. Thank you all for watching. Ah, uh, good.